Okay, so today I want to talk to you about home study, specifically linked to getting you all ready for your progress tests. Now, as you know, we have been talking about home study since the beginning of this half term. And we've talked about our scholar walkthrough of having a plan, organizing our resources, maximizing our study habits and evaluating our progress. So we have been working really hard to develop this for you so that you have a really useful home study booklet to help you get ready for your progress tests. We've already talked about the difference between home learning, which is set by your teacher, and home study, which is all about independent revision and study habits that support long-term learning. And this is all linked to our memory model. And I talk to you about this all the time, but we know that when we pay good attention in lesson, the information goes into our short-term memory, but we have got to rehearse that information, revisit it, practice it, retrieve it in order for us to achieve long-term learning. And that is the goal of your time at Shorten High School that you achieve long-term learning. So your progress tests are weeks three and four of spring one, and they start on the 16th of January. And our home study walkthrough tells us about the importance of having a plan and getting organized. And that's why we're starting our conversation about it today. So we have put lots of work into preparing a home study booklet for you. And this home study booklet has four sections. The first is space for your progress test timetable. The second is a home study or revision planner. The third are very detailed revision lists explaining what you need to know in each subject. And the final page is a section on study tips. Now, I'm actually going to start a little bit further down just to give you a good sense of the information in the booklet. So you have got um, this section, which is step two on organizing your resources. And in this section for every one of your subjects, we can see an example of English and maths here. You have a list of what do I need to know and be able to do, keywords that I need to know, and knowledge toolkit information. So for example, in maths, in the spring, year eight will be tested on ratio and scale, multiplying and dividing fractions, working um, in the Cartesian plane, representing data, etc. This is the list of what they need to know. This is the list of key vocabulary that they need to know. And this is their knowledge toolkit. So they can go on to Hegarty Maths and revise. There will be resources on MS Teams for revision. They can use their exercise book and they will be given a more detailed revision list in their maths lesson. So you have got this for every single subject, okay? Long list of the knowledge that you need to know, your keywords and uh, signposting to your knowledge toolkit, so where you go for revision. I kind of wanted to share that with you first because I think it's important that you know that you have all of that information before you approach your book. So this study book then, it follows our walkthrough and the first step is about having a plan. So you're receiving this in form time today and Already it is populated with some of your progress test dates. So you can see that we've got year eight science, year eight English and year eight maths, all on these key times and dates as seen on the plan. Your first job over the next two weeks is in your lessons, you need to find out when each of your other exams are. So for example, you might find out that geography is period one on Tuesday, that science is period three on Friday, drama is period one on the following Monday, etc., etc. It is your job to get organized because these dates will be different depending on what class you are in. That is why we can't do this for you. And it's a good habit for you to get organized anyway. So your first job it, over the next two weeks is to have this booklet in your bag, 
get it filled in in all of your lessons. And that way you're organized, you know when your tests fall across the two weeks. Also part of that step one, leading on from having your progress test timetable is developing your study plan. So you can see we have mapped out four weeks for home study. And this is the time that you are gonna have for your independent practice at home, working through your revision. So we've mapped out three study sessions for you each day over the next two, over this period of four weeks. And that starts this week, continues next week, and then the first two weeks when we return home. Sorry, when we return to school from home after the Christmas holidays. So your job really is to think about, this is when all of my tests take place. This is all of the information that I need to know. Have a read through this and have a little think to yourself, which subjects do I need to do more revision in than others? Which subjects do I feel more confident in than others? So for example, an approach to this might be to go to your revision list and to go through it with your highlighters and highlight which topics you feel red, amber, or green in, okay? So you could go through and kind of rag yourself. And actually at the end of that process, you would see very clearly which subjects and which topics you find most difficult. You could do that across all of your different subjects and that would give you a really clear way of knowing what your key strengths are and what your areas for development are. If after that process you realise you've got loads of amber and red in science, then it might be that you start plotting out science first. And maybe you, you know, you plot science across each week. You have one 45 minute session for science across each week. If you've also identified, let's say, history as another tough subject for you, again, you might go through that process of plotting it across either the full four weeks or maybe, you know, three of the weeks. It's up to you. You decide. So you have to plot all of your subjects. You've got to make space for them, but prioritize the ones that you know you have more work to do in. And a really good way of using this revision list is to use it to rag it, to think about which knowledge is secure, which is really insecure, and which is somewhere in between. And just focus on the knowledge that is insecure and the knowledge that is in between. If you feel confident and you've given it a green, then actually that's the last thing that you come to. And that helps you to manage your time really well. So you're organized, you know when your tests are, you've plotted out your revision, you are now ready to start revising. And you are gonna use your knowledge toolkit in each subject. So English is telling me here to use my exercise book to revise the characters, plot and themes in my novel, to use the home learning tab to find my specific spring progress checkpoint revision, and to use that to develop my discursive writing skills. So I would log on to Teams, I would go on to my um, home learning tab in my English lesson, and I would access those resources. I would also have my book ready as a revision tool. And you would do your 45 minute sessions in each of those subjects. Now we have got some top tips at the bottom for you to maximize those study habits. So you've got your detailed plan. We have given you three key study habits that we think will work very well for you. The first is about utilizing your online platforms. And for year seven and eight, that is mainly your use of MS Teams and Bite Size. For years nine and 10, we would add um, Seneca and GCSE Pod onto that list as well. 
We have also talked to you about the use of mind maps to maximize your study. And mind maps are a really useful way to map out big concepts and topic areas. So as you go through this RAG process, where you think about the topics that are red or amber, you would zoom in on that topic and do your mind map. OK, and we are talking to you in assembly about what really good mind mapping looks like. And we're going to practice that with you in form time as well. But here's a little example of a student that has taken their science book and looked at the topic of energy that they find really difficult. And then they've taken that big topic and broken it down into a visual mind map, planning out those subtopics, looking at key vocabulary, you know, key formula, key ideas, and mapping that all together. Once you've mapped those big ideas, it's good to do further work with them and zoom into them by creating flashcards. And again, we are going to practice this with you, but flashcards are an excellent way to summarize key vocabulary, key subtopics. You summarize the information onto a little card, um, or summarize the definition onto a little card and maybe put some key questions on the back. So the final step really is to be able to self-test and evaluate your progress. This is an absolutely crucial part of home study. So you really need to test yourself to check if the information that you have been revising has gone into your long-term memory. At the end of your 45 minute revision session, you could do a bit of that. You could cover and check parts of your mind map or your flashcards, or you could use past paper questions if you're in year 10. Your teachers might give you some nice questions to test yourself on different topics. You could use those, but that's not just helpful to do at the end of their actual revision session. That's helpful to come back to the week after or the week after again. And that really checks if it's gone into your long-term memory. So we hope now that you go on to really take care of your home study booklet. A lot of effort has gone into it. Use this to maximise your study habits over the next four weeks. Obviously, we've got these two weeks before we fin finish for Christmas. You've got the Christmas holiday period, which should be a restful time for you, but some of you will want to factor in some home study then, and that is absolutely fine. And then you have the two weeks when you come back and you will need all of those four weeks to really effectively study and prepare for your spring progress tests. You have your form tutor to ask for support. You have got your year team to go to. You can come and talk to me at any time about this also. Um, so good luck with our study habits and take care of your booklet. Thanks everyone.